welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ. As you guys can see, we do have sensational What Lace series in the building today. I do have Rashana in the color 1B. And baby, let's just unbox her, okay? Um, I love and rave about What Lace uh, series so bad because, like, literally, you can just take her out of the box. She comes pre plucked, she comes ready to install and go. And also she comes with baby hairs, as you guys can see. So I did go ahead and put her on my mannequin head and this is the complete hairline. I'm just parting her in different areas just so you guys can see it overall. And this is the back of the wig. This is the beautiful curls, okay? I am gonna run my fingers through to see if I get any snags or tags here or there. And I don't, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on and this is what she's giving. She's super pretty. I'm obsessed with this hairline, okay? The baby hair is wet. I did notice though that the front section of the curls on the sides is not cohesive with the rest of the wig. I feel like the curls in the front is gonna fall quicker. But anyway, this is the hairline. This is what it looks like with the baby hairs pulled up and I am gonna brush them back. So now we don't get in, into blending that, okay? You need some type of foundation, some cream foundation, uh, concealer, whatever you have, okay? I like to go a shade or two darker than my actual complexion, just so that the wig blends, blends in more seamlessly. Now you guys can see that the hairline, the hair strand actually looks a little bit like I over bleached the knots, but you know, we can't bleach synthetic hair. Just taking a makeup wipe and just removing it from the hair strands. We're gonna go ahead and hot comb the hair line. I love, love, love hot combing, especially synthetic hair lines in this series in particular, because wet lace be coming through, okay? They be coming through with the hairline being pre-plucked. Now I ain't gonna lie, I actually have had better units that they've plucked in the past, this one is not too bad. If you'd like to go in and do that, you can, but I'm just one that I do not like plugging my units. I'm sorry, I just don't. I'm just gonna install it as is and make it do what it do. But this hairline is not bad at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the lace that is not needed. And I like to cut very close to the hairline because I feel like the less the lace, the better. It helps with blending, in my personal opinion. We can go ahead and make sure we're also creating jagged edges to help it look more natural and not one blunt line going across our heads. So now I'm just going in. I like to layer up, okay? Especially in the, the summertime, I like to do about three layers because Baby, my wig be trying to walk away from me and we do not need that out in these streets, okay? So I love to use this new spray that I've been raving out for the last couple of months. This is Kiss Lace Bonding Spray, y'all. When I tell you it's the goat, it's the goat. So on the sides, do be sure to add more products. So in the center, I add like three layers. On the side, I probably do about four or five because those ear tabs be lifting up like no other. Now, I felt like there was too much lace over here, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and we're just gonna trim that off because like I said, I do not like too much lace. Now I'm taking my spritz. I want an, another layer of security of holes and we're just gonna spray our finger and we're just gonna um, focus that product on the hairline to make it melt more. I usually focus more on the sides because they don't look as melted as the middle section of my head. So I'll be sure to layer that product up as well. And then I dry it down a little bit before we sit it, before I sit it under my um, elastic band. Thank you. 
this material actually makes me sweat a little bit so i think i would use this more so in the winter i'm going into the tangle and as you guys can see girl rashana was playing with your girl because she was tangling like no other i'm like why is you tangling like this she was just every little move was a tangle so i did dock off some points for that reason So as you guys can see, I'm doing a middle part. I wasn't, I was gonna try to do a side part, but the way this wig is constructed, you can't do that, okay? I was trying to do my, you know, deep curve on the side. It, no, you can't part it. You can do a side part without parting it, but parting it is not gonna work because the track's gonna show. So we just gonna make our middle part back. I feel like it looks like a full lace frontal, but it's not. The way it's constructed, you have a lot of room in the center of that wig, but on the sides, you can't, it's, it's nothing you can do over there. It's really a middle part with edges. It just looks like it's full lace, but it's really not. Now I'm going in with my hot comb and we're just gonna get rid of a little bit of that volume i do not like too much volume towards the top of my waist because i feel like it gives wiggy vibes i don't know for some reason it kind of looks like i got on a helmet when i don't hot comb that so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and i also create my bumps in the front now i'm going in to do some baby hairs you don't have to do no baby hairs i feel like Baby hairs just give my units personality and I just love baby hairs in general. Y'all already know. It's it's not many units that I can actually do without baby hairs because I don't know, I be feeling like I'm bald, like I'm missing something. So I'm just gonna go in and do that. And I'm gonna do it on both sides. I'll be trying to get as even as possible, but that's just not reality in my head, okay? One baby hair be looking one way, the other one be looking another. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my baby hairs. I did cut her, I always cut it a little bit longer than I'd like and trim up as needed because I feel like I don't wanna be burning my head trying to curl a short piece of baby hair and if it's too short, there's no coming back from that. Um, to lay my baby hairs, I go in with the got to be glue gel, especially for the summertime because I feel like it just keeps your baby hairs in place and I don't want them popping up and stuff like that. I do use my dryer to dry down that gel before I actually swoop because I felt like with this product, the consistency of that product mixed in with my makeup, it creates a mess in my forehead line because I already have my makeup on when I'm installing my wig. Now, if you're installing your wig, before you do your makeup, you ain't gonna have this problem, but that's the problem that I run into always when having when using this product. Be sure to allow it to dry down some and then swoop. So I went ahead and did my little um, outfit change because time is winding down and I'm like, I gotta get ready to go. So this is what she's giving us right now, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of more, you know, um, prepping. Now I will have to say, I am gonna have to give her an eight and a half out of 10 because of the tangling that she gave me. And throughout the day, she did give me tangling. So I was like, girl, Vashana, I know you didn't do me like that, but she did. But however, this is just a cute, beautiful wig overall. Like I said, I didn't do no plucking, no another that. I just installed her, and this is how she turned out. So I'm just running my hot comb back in a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go in with my uh, Kisses Cream Foundation to define that part. So this is the end result, y'all. She is so freaking beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and all the details in regards to this unit will be listed down there. So yeah, until my next video, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys.